I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie, and I'd like to tell you about our pattern, Take a Stand. The Take a Stand pattern includes instructions for stand-up totes in two sizes. You'll love these versatile totes for many uses, as a day-to-day -day purse, as a diaper bag, to carry sewing supplies, or even for use in conjunction with our Running with Scissors tool case. That handy case is designed to store and carry rotary cutters, scissors, and more. The small take a stand tote is perfectly sized to use as a stand for the tool case and to carry project supplies or even a small iron. The large tote will hold the filled running with scissors tool case along with everything you need for your project or even a small sewing machine. The small stand up tote measures 8 and 3 quarter inches high, 12 inches wide, and 6 and a half inches deep. The large tote measures 12 and a half inches high, 16 inches wide, and 8 inches deep. Each tote has an adjustable detachable carrying strap for carrying the tote over the shoulder or cross body. An easy to install zipper at the top allows the bag to open wide for easy access to the spacious interior. The end of the zipper can be tucked into a strap on the side of the bag. On the other end of the bag, the loop created by the zipper binding makes it easy to grab the tote. It's also a perfect spot to clip on a ring of keys. Each stand-up tote features pockets inside and out to help organize everything you want to carry. The outer pockets are made of quilted fabric and run the full width of the totes, so carry keys, phones, paperwork, and more. A border adds interest to the front pocket and is the perfect spot for embellishment with brand tags, ribbon, embroidery, or decorative stitches. The inner pockets are made from mesh and bound with fold-over elastic. This gives great visibility for the contents as well as some extra stretch. The pattern includes instructions for dividing these mesh pockets into sections. Feel free to customize the divisions to suit your needs. The Take a Stand pattern gives complete step-by-step -step instructions for the stand-up totes in two sizes. You'll love the checkboxes to help you keep track of where you are in the process as well as the handy tags for labeling all your pieces. There are dozens of helpful illustrations in the pattern to guide you and we've also filmed an add-on video to help you with some of the more unique or challenging aspects of this project. This helpful video series will show you how to choose and prepare fabrics for your tote, attach the carrying strap tabs and outer pockets, attach the ends to the bag body, and install and finish the ends of the zipper that closes the tote. The clear and complete instructions combined with the add-on video make running with scissors a pattern that can be accomplished by all levels of sewists, from confident beginners to more advanced makers. Makers will need skills for careful marking and rotary cutting and for sewing accurate seams. Some experience with my patterns and terminology is always helpful. Most of the project is very straightforward and the videos will walk you step by step through the more challenging aspects. Let's talk a little bit about the supplies that you will need to make the take a stand totes. The pattern recommends that you use three fabrics for each tote a main fabric for the exterior, a lining for the interior, and a coordinating fabric for the carrying strap, border, and bindings. Note that on some of the models that I've shown in this video, we've added an additional fabric for extra interest on the border that is on the front pocket. Because the body of each tote is one long piece of fabric, you'll need to make some adjustments if using very directional fabrics. The pattern and add-on video give tips to make that easy. Using soft and stable for the stand-up totes gives great body and stability and enables you to use any type of fabric for the bags. I especially like to use quilting cottons because of the wide range of colors and designs that are available. You'll also need some fusible interfacing for the border and a bit of mesh and fold-over elastic for the interior pockets. Zippers are used to close the tote and the front and back quilted pockets. We recommend that you use handbag zippers. Their extra width is especially important for the zipper that closes the bag. Find handbag zippers in lots of fun colors at our website, byannie.com. You'll also need some 1-inch polypro strapping to reinforce the carrying strap and some 1-inch hardware to make the strap adjustable and to attach it to the bag.
You'll also need thread to match your fabrics, and we suggest Sew Fine Number 50, a 50 weight polyester thread from Superior Threads. Most of the stitching is done on the coordinating fabric, so you'll definitely want thread to match that. We also picked threads to match the lining and fold over elastic. Finally, if you're going to carry heavy items in the tote, we recommend slipping a plexiglass base stabilizer into the bag to stabilize the bottom. You'll find a pre-cut stabilizer for the large tote at Biani.com. I had so much fun making these sturdy, spacious totes, and I'm excited about using them with my Running With Scissors tool case. They were so easy and fun to make. I know that you're going to love these stand-up totes, too. We can't wait to see the bags you make and how you use them, so be sure to share pictures of your finished projects with us. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube using at Patterns by Annie. And if you liked this video, please click on the like button below to give us some feedback. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button too so you're sure to know when we post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Happy stitching!